Hi everybody, welcome back to my studio. Um, I'm Natifa and thank you for joining me to see how I created this envelope. I wanted to start out by showing you guys this envelope punch board by Memory. I think we are Memory Keepers um, who makes this and this is what I used to create my template or I guess the actual punched out envelope so you can see there. Um, that's watercolor paper and it's um, really lovely to use because one I'm using watercolors and then um, it's it's great because it's sturdy and you don't have to really worry too much about um, the paints running through the paper or whatever else so um, there's a variety of sizes you can use on this punch board and so that's what I'm doing here um, and we're gonna jump in and we're going to create this beautiful envelope but I wanted to show you guys what I use to punch out my envelopes okay Okay, I'm going to be using my Pastel Dreams watercolor palette by Prima Marketing. I love these because they're full of just vibrant colors and they, I think, just give me a color palette to work with. So I am going to jump in and start adding some color to my envelope. And I am just sort of using the color palette from the um, watercolor set there. And so I'm going to be drawing some scallops and that's kind of what this is so I'm just going to let you guys watch me paint for a little bit and I will jump back in when I start to do something else enjoy <music>
So I am just going to start painting the inside of my envelope um, because I love to do this um, in my mind. I think when the person receives it, they get really excited and um, just happy because it's sort of unexpected. And so one of my favorite things to do is to paint on the inside of the envelope. And I just use some watercolors here. So now I'm just going to go ahead and use my Stabilo pencil in black and I'm going to start to sort of shade or add some shading to the scallops to kind of give them a little bit of dimension and I'm just sort of tracing around each of them and I'm using sort of a little um, I guess it's sort of like what you use for eyeshadow um, a little sponge and I'm just smudging it as I go along to kind of give it more depth and sort of that unfinished um, or not as perfect look I just like the way it looks this way so um, that's what I'm doing for this part Okay, so now I'm going to start gluing the envelope together and I'm using um, a glue called the ultimate It's my favorite tacky glue. I like it because it's really strong and it's I don't know it's tacky um, so that's what I am doing. So as I Finish that up. I decided that I needed to add some extra things to the back of the envelope so I'm gonna go through here and use my pearl watercolor watercolors um, and I'm just sort of matching the colors to the palette um, the pearl palette and sort of going through I don't think I really liked the way the envelope look um, looked at the end of it it just looked really flat to me and I needed to add something to give it some more umph or dimension or whatever and I just decided let me just try some shimmer to see if I like that better and I also wanted to fix that purple um, section there because I think I messed it up or it was just sort of weird looking I just didn't like it too much and so I started to um, just sort of go over it with you know some pearl paint here the nice I was painting this I decided that you know what I don't like the way this looks so I'm just going to just start all over um, and I just I think that purple section was just a little bit too big for um, for my liking so I sort of I guess erased it with some watercolor the nice thing about the Stabilo pencil is that it is water soluble so if you um, add water to it it does kind of turn into um, like a watercolor also and you can kind of erase it um, it makes me a little nervous though because it is black and so but it worked out fine and so I decided to just sort of do a um, a purple and green um, kind of ombre I guess that's not really ombre but like a blending of of the two of them together and see how I like that I almost used my oxide inks on this but I said no let me just let it be um, and stop adding too many things to it because I don't know how it was going to turn out and so I um, sort of went back over the the scallops that were left over and I, I do like the way that this turned out in the end um, with that blending at the bottom there I think it was much better than what I had before so I'm glad that I kind of just changed it a little bit so don't be afraid to try things you know I think sometimes that's where I tend to find weird ways that my envelopes come together I just sort of try things and see how they turn out 
Um, so don't be afraid to do that. It's, it's only paint. So you can always paint over it. So now I'm going to go through and start um, adding some doodles to this, um, some dots, and see how I like it. Um, I, I just love to add a lot of um, details to my envelopes because I really think that it just gives it a different um, sort of flair. And so I grabbed my Jelly Roll pens and I just started adding dots, um, trying to find colors that would kind of pop off of the color that I was using. And so that's kind of what I did. I think a lot of these are kind of the neon -y colors for um, Jelly Rolls. Um, and I'm going through and just adding some, I don't even know what I call these, I guess doodles. Um, I don't have a name for those actual things, but I do draw those shapes a lot of that pattern. And so that's what I'm doing here and just adding a little bit more um, fun details to the envelope. I think that's that's a great way to make your envelope stand out is just adding just a bunch of details to it. Um, in the end, it's just going to look really, really beautiful, um, at least in my eyes. So that's what we're doing. I think we're done with this one guys it's um, finished I like how it turned out and you can just put your dress sort of on that little green portion at the bottom there um, I think I would probably write the address in two lines um, maybe I don't know, maybe three I don't know um, I don't know yet I'm gonna see how I address this envelope because I think I made that um, scallop too low on the bottom there but that's fine we'll figure it out and so um, putting my address there and i'm gonna turn this over so you can see the front of it i love that stamp um i just that's really pretty i like that stamp a lot but i think it's it's beautiful i loved i love the way it turned out in the end um it was a little bit hairy there for a second but look at that pop of color when you open it oh i just love it it's so yummy so yummy so i hope you guys enjoyed this envelope um thank you so much for watching this video and i'll see you guys next time Bye bye